Hello everyone, welcome to this short video on how to run your first Xeboost model with Python. Now in this video, we're just going to keep it very simple, just going to execute the basic Xeboost model with a data set. And the data set that we're going to use is going to be the Pima Indian Diabetes Database. We're going to predict whether that particular person has diabetes or not seeing the various parameters. Pregnancies, the number of pregnancies, glucose level, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, so on and so forth, right? Basically, what we're trying to do is see if that person has diabetes or no. So let's go ahead and get started. I opened up a kernel in Kaggle itself. I provided this particular kernel link in the description section below. Also, I have another GitHub link with the data set where you can download it on your local system and execute the same. For now, we're just going to use Kaggle because it will just get you started right away. Also, please don't forget to have a Kaggle account and SMS verify your account to be running this particular code. Anyway, so let's get started. First, we're going to import pandas numpy as numpy. And then we're going to import xzboost as xgb. Right now, it has both the classifier and x regressor. In this case, we're going to use the xzboost classifier. We are going to check the data sets that are av available within this and this is just really one database that is diabetes.csv and this is the location. So we're going to basically load this to a table called as data and let's look at what's present within it. Right. So we have all these variables and fortunately none of them are missing values. So we can just continue building the model. The target variable is outcome whether they have a diabetes or not. and that will be assigned to y and the rest of the variables will be assigned to x that are our um, x variables right so basically now we have our y variables and x variables we can just look at all the x variables that we have all of them are numerical so there is no dummy variables creation or one hot coding that we can do on this we're just going to simply fit this model and predict the outcome directly so let's look at the shape. We have around 768 and eight variables, 768 rows and eight variables. And obviously, fortunately, none of them have missing values. Just in case, you know, uh, we see if there are any missing values, but there are none. So we're just going to go directly to build the model. Now, in this case, we simply need to declare a xzboost classifier and that can be done by saying xgb dot xgb classifier and we need not give any pa hyperparameters for the default model but if you wanted to give some to begin with you can give depth number of estimators and learning rate uh, these are something that you will find very common in decision trees and that's why the name came from the xzboost and the learning rate depending on what kind of data you're working with or what's the model that you're working with right so we're going to leave those aside and just build the basic model i declared an instance and i'm going to fit the model right it works like any other sql and machine learning package but in this there are a lot of hyper parameters that we can tune but that will be for another video so we're just going to build the basic model and see what accuracy we get within this particular model itself Right, so for this model, we got around 0.87 accuracy. Obviously, with tuning it and uh, having a train test split and seeing how the variance and bias is going to work out in the train test split will be another interesting thing to look at. But if you wanted to get started with the XZBoost model, this is how it's done. You have the links in the description section below. So please download them or click on the Kaggle link and run this code so that you get an idea of how XZBoost works thank you for watching this video guys if you like this particular kernel on kaggle please do not forget to hit the like button here and give it some boost so that i work on more content for you so that you can learn and implement them in your machine learning problem statements